All right, guys, this, the next segment, we have to convert the given uh, exponential equations into the linear equations. These are all non-linear equations, and we have to write them in this form y is equal to mx plus c. And here we shall be using the uh, product and the quotient law that we have learned in, in the logarithms. So um, let me start with this uh, part E, okay? That because this part E and this part H, these are the typical questions over here. Or, and this may be this part D. These are the typical questions here, okay? So uh, look at the part C maybe. You have Y is equal to AX raised to power B. So the problem with this equation is that you have only two terms. We need to have three terms, Y equal to MX plus C. So how can I split these two terms, Bacho? Hmm? There is a product over here, Hena. So if I go back, if I go reverse of that um, product law, I can split these two, this one term into two terms. So this is going to be ln y equal to ln a plus ln x is to power b. And this is ln y equals ln a plus b ln x. So here we are. This is the required form. This is your y equal to mx plus c. Now, uh, your y is ln y. Your x is ln x. Your gradient, let me write this neatly. Yeah. Okay. Your gradient is um, d and your intercept is going to be ln a. So if you take the logarithms, the natural log of all the values of y and x, and then you plot them, you will end up with a line graph. Okay. Now look at this. Can you try this part uh, D and E and maybe this part F? Hmm? Asa, look at this um, uh, D part. This says Y is equal to A B raised to power X. So we take the log on both the sides. Ln Y is equal to Ln A. I think we have done this already. Or oh, that was a part. Oh, yes. Okay. There is a bit of difference here. Okay. L and Y is equal to, let me write this first. This is X L and B plus L and A. And further, I can write it as L and B in the brackets. And then this is your L and A. So that means your Y is going to be L and Y. X remains X this time. And the gradient is going to be ln b, and the intercept is going to be ln a. And if you plot this on the graph, here you will have x, and here you will have ln y. Okay. Similarly, uh, look at this uh, one more part that is going to be uh, the e part, maybe. Uh, so in this E part, I apply the log on both the sides, ln x is for A, y is for B, that is equal to ln E squared. So this goes as ln x is for A, plus ln y is for B, that is two ln E, okay? This becomes A ln x plus B ln y, and that is equal to two. Oh, yes. Now we have got a problem here. Uh, we need to have something in this form, y is equal to mx plus c. You see, we have ln x here, we have ln y here, we have this, this, just this one number here. So what we need to do over here is we need to maybe divide the whole equation by ln y, or you can divide the whole equation by ln x. This is up to you people, okay? So let's divide the whole equation by uh, ln x. Yes, let me see what do we get. So this is going to be a plus b ln y over uh, ln 
x that is equal to 2 over ln x. Okay. And yes, just one minute. I can write it as a over 2 plus b over 2. Oh, this is this one is a very nasty one. Okay. This is 1 over ln x. So guys, this is the finally, this is the form that we were looking for. This is all constant. This is all variable. And this is constant into variable. So this is your y. This one is your m. This one is your x. And this one is your c. Okay, so that is how you convert a non-linear equation into a linear equation. One question quickly I can do that because some of you must be thinking that I didn't tell you about this uh, A part or maybe the G part. In this, these parts, you only have to take the logarithm on both the sides. So let's take log this time because we know that log 10 is one. So this is log Y equals A X plus B log 10. We know that log 10 is one. So this is log Y that's it, but sure. So this is your y. This is the gradient. This is x. This is the intercept. Here. Okay, so today I have uh, just given you uh, the method where you can write a non-linear equation into a linear equation using all the logarithmic rules here or your algebraic uh, rules here, because this is purely all these are like, you know, there's no logarithm involved here. You can convert them by multiplying or dividing by certain terms here. And here you had to apply, in this question, you had to apply the logarithm on both the sides. And if I take you now to your A-level book, so you can try the parts of this first question till we meet tomorrow, inshallah.